to get fuel and the top part of that ship which is required really for inter interstellar flight uh, back on the ship all right so that's that's that and you can see the there's my shadow you can see the the whole town has been having a good old time down here that's where the camera was by the way uh, and so we're gonna like I said make some great plates out of this for the movie uh, the, the sky will not look like that and believe me the moon will not be there because there is no moon on this planet uh, it's gonna be a great movie you guys I really hope you enjoy it I'd love to get up here sometime and see what that deposit is up there you see that little white thing up there don't have a clue a lot of geology in this place it's really kind of strange to see lichen on the south side uh, facing the Sun but up here you sh that's sure as heck what happens so yeah we're gonna put the town right here this is gonna be where these people have been living for a hundred something years we're gonna use uh, Hollywood magic to get rid of the to get rid of the uh, some of the trees and some of the grass we're gonna put you know sidewalks and houses and schools and everything else in there so that's where that's gonna be so we're, we're, when we do the live shot it probably won't actually be here for the most part unless we could find a road actually we probably can because I remember filming down there before if you look right there once again probably out of focus I really can't see into the Sun I'll, I'll try to zoom in and focus for you it won't work okay anyways right there off that road I filmed up in here before and that might be where we're gonna take our crew for the live shots because we don't want to have them come all the way up here it's bad enough just to get them for the time I'm gonna have them so I'm gonna just make it in and out when we get the crew up here to film uh, but yeah this is this is all gonna be the town right here right up that slope they're gonna have no idea that it not really so far away but you know hidden from them is where the li mysterious shipwrecked li Liberty 72 ended up now that's just the bottom part uh, Liberty 72 actually has what the it's not, almost like an escape tower used for the capsules uh, coming into the atmosphere uh, something happened uh, they had I've already demonstrated this online many times how this happens with the escape sled but the bottom top decks uh, is where all the people evacuate to the, 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 the design of those top decks is a independently flying lifting body design and it was able to go down and land perfectly fine on skids and uh, it was actually pretty far from here, but the guys back in the old days knew where the ship the rest of the ship went and they, they For some reason they never found it. So they ended up uh, Staying here which ironically enough was very close to where they actually uh, Had left the ship now the bottom half of the ship came down unmanned on parachutes And it was by far the larger part came down from the atmosphere and by some really bad miracle landed on top of that plateau so they have to get up there with the escape sled once they find it uh, somehow get supplies and you know limited supplies up there like fuel and stuff and take off and go leave this planet in a hurry because they're gonna have a lot of people after them nobody nobody's gonna be real excited about these people leaving this planet for a number of reasons all related to central control of government as you might expect from the way I do my films uh, So here we go. We're going to uh, shut this off now and shoot some more plates for you. Got some really good plates today. And I really hope you guys uh, will continue to be interested in Liberty 72 as it develops. Like I said, I'm not really going to spend so much time bragging about the production. I'm just going to do it. And hopefully you guys will like the result because so far there's not been a whole lot of excitement about this. Uh, like there was when I did the first two films. The third one was kind of, you know, nah, whatever. Uh, Jeff Miller, who's retired from Congress, really liked it. I just want to send a special shout out to him, my old friend uh, from Temecula, Florida, uh, CD1 in Florida. Uh, he took Joe Scarborough's place in Congress. Just did a really great job for the veterans with the, uh, he, he was the, the chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee in Congress. Uh, really, really did the yeoman's work to go to bat for us in ways that all the other people in Congress never could. Uh, usually ended up signing stuff to the VA by himself because none of the other uh, congressman on, on the committee would want to join him but, but after a while even the Democrats got on board with what he was putting out there so 
Uh, very sad to see him leave. I don't have no idea why he's leaving or what he's going to be doing, but I do know he's he had a better chance, like I told him before, of changing the moon's orbit than reforming the VA. It's just it's it's a it's such a, just a monster to try to do that. But really great job, Jeff Miller. I, I will certainly miss you and your influence in Congress. Thank you very much for looking out after the vets. And a lot of where I am today, including probably even being alive, is because of the efforts that you have taken for me in the past. You know exactly what I'm talking about. With that, I'm going to close out for today's lovely episode of my cancer update. And we're going to shoot some more lovely, lovely, lovely B-roll for you. And you'll see that on a motion picture on screens, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. And you'll love it, believe me. God bless.